Well, since we had a little debacle today <laughs> with the Mexico uh, John Wick, I figured, you know, let, let's have a little fun. You know, let's, let's everybody calm down and let's just get back to having fun. So I'm going to show off a couple of custom Mezcos. Let's go. Alright, so you know when Mezco released that Aquaman movie figure from the Justice League, they uh, their schedule was a little messed up, I would want to say, because they never released an Aquaman movie figure from the actual Aquaman movie. They didn't release any figures from that movie, as a matter of fact, and it grossed a billion. So... When they released the comic book version of Aquaman, which, as you see here, I was not going to buy this fig at all. Like, to me, that comic book figures are sort of hit and miss. And this one just looks a little silly with the trunks and everything. I just, I just don't like that comic book look. I'm more of the movie look kind of guy. So, I got with my guy Podung over on Instagram. He does most of all my, he does 99% of my, <laughs> my customs. So, I wanted an Aquaman from the movie. And I got him. But then he was like, dude, we need an Ocean Master. I was like, eh, I'm not feeling Ocean Master with the with the purple and the silver. I'm not, I'm not feeling that. He was like, dude, trust me, it's gonna work. It's gonna look good. I'm like, eh, are you sure? He's like, dude, it's gonna look good. As in, as you can see, we took the comic book. We took the comic book Aquaman head and we made it our version of Ocean Master. So we took a bunch of things. We took the head skull. We took and we took this guy, stripped him down a little bit. Painted them up. And I want to say. It came out. Freaking badass. Like the whole thing. Just came out good. You can tell. Let me switch that off. He has that head scope. Has that evil head scope. He has that real royal look to him. Like this is this is your ocean master right here. This is the guy. He also has the hold on. So he also has the screaming head. That mad evil look. And you can put the crown. You can also put the crown on him. Straighten that out. Because it has the magnet on it. 
Like, this guy looks badass. Like, this fits my, like, the universe that we're trying to build, that DCEU slash Arkham type of universe. We also painted this. the trident. This is the regular Aquaman version. But we painted that like a glossy silver. And I can't lie, he came out good. Like he came out came out badass. I can't can't deny it. Now this guy came out better than expected. This is my Aquaman. I'm not going with that comic book look. I like this armor that he has. And Momoa just looks freaking badass. I guess that's why Zack Snyder picked him because he looks badass. This is a very, very good paint job by my boy Podon. Shout out to him again. <laughs> I'm glad he never uses dull paint. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, just wanted to come up here real quick, show off these customs. Let's get that focused. And this is the trident that actually came with the Iron Man fig. This is the trident I'm using for Aquaman. So that's my Aquaman and my version of Ocean Master. It looks like it's straight out the movie. And it's awesome. Well, guys, enjoy. Stay tuned. I have an upgraded um, Red Hood to show you. And the rest of the Bat family. There's a new Robin after show off. And see you in a minute. All right, guys, take it easy.